Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, let's get right to it. I started thinking about this one this morning. I was reading a little bit on the internet, watched a couple of videos, and I wanted to talk about thriving on this lifestyle. Not just simply surviving or getting by or, you know, um, uh, following the lifestyle to the letter of somebody else's law. I'm talking about really thriving, like your body thriving, your whole being thriving on this lifestyle because you know I just I don't I don't see that a lot I know a lot of people have things to heal I know a lot of people have various problems and we're all basic individuals doing this journey for probably as many reasons different reasons as there are individuals out there uh, some people want to lose weight some people want to heal things um, some people just want to have more energy uh, they want to be able to get out and play with their kids and grandkids as they get old. So we have a lot of different uh, reasons for coming to this lifestyle. Um, but I just don't see as many people as I would like to see thriving on this lifestyle. Sometimes it just seems like you, you know, you just kind of like getting by. And I don't want to see people getting by because um, my process, I'm going, I'm, I'm always moving forward. I'm always moving forward. I'm feeling better. I feel stronger. I feel cleaner, but I always, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm thriving. I always feel like, yeah, I can thrive more. I don't feel like, don't mistake that by meaning I've reached a destination. I don't feel like I'm somewhere like, oh, I'm here now. I'm always going to be moving forward if I'm doing this 25, well, I will be doing this 25 years from now, probably if I'm still on the planet, but um, I want to, even if I'm doing it 25 years from now, still living, I want to always be thinking about moving forward. Um, hey, before I get started, I just wanted to really recommend this book. I mean, I know a lot, I'm sometimes a little bit late to the dance, but uh, I just happened to, I wouldn't have thought this would, might be in a, just the regular bookstore. I was in uh, Barnes and Noble, I can't remember the name. It was one of those chain uh, bookstores the other day. Happened to see this, so I said, oh, I'll grab it. And I just have, I'm only about 20, 25 pages into it, but it looks like a really good book. Um, it's very good for beginners and people that have been doing this lifestyle a long time. It's really good for me because like I'm always telling you guys, it pounds the basics into my head. He goes, he explains a lot of the whys behind this lifestyle, which is something people are always asking us. Um, there's statistics in there, um, just like in the China study, and I would totally uh, recommend reading the China study. I think the China study is um, a must read when you come to this lifestyle, and I think this is even going to be possibly even a little bit better but anyhow let's get to it I had a few notes down here today about things I wanted to talk about when we talked about thriving on a raw vegan lifestyle and when I say that like I say with all of them too it's like the same general principles whether you're doing a fully raw vegan lifestyle or even if you're doing raw to four or some other version of a high carb vegan lifestyle same principles can work it's all about the process and, and a mentality, in my opinion. Um, okay, I saw one. I, I've just got random notes down here. My notes are just like kind of brainstorming. I saw a video as I was watching this morning, and I was it, it just kind of I had to mention it. Um, I, someone was talking about, it and they made a video, and they had quite a lot of views. I forget they had done a they had done a raw vegan diet for like seven or eight months, and they had that great you know video that a lot of people do about how it was ruining their health and doing this or that. Um, well, first of all, I'm like, I'm thinking if it's ruining your health after only seven or eight months, even if you're not doing raw vegan, I didn't do raw vegan right in the beginning. I got crazy skinny, but if something, if, if raw vegan ruins somebody's health in seven or eight months, I would have to say just in my humble opinion, they drastically were not learning anything or they weren't doing the lifestyle properly because even if okay let's i'm not trying to say like raw with law or you know argue the raw thing but yeah even if you were uh even if the raw vegan lifestyle wasn't the right lifestyle you're not going to wreck your health in seven months so that gets into another little point that i think is really really key and why a lot of people aren't um thriving on here People are not giving, you're not giving what you're doing enough time to work. Um, 
you're, people are impatient. They're jumping around. I see people all the time. They're radically changing. I mean, I see it in videos. I see it in comments. I just see it by watching people. People will do something for 15 minutes. They start doing, and I see them make the big declaration, I'm going to start doing this now. And they've ch they're changing it within two to four weeks. That's not enough time for whatever you're doing to take effect and start working. I mean, you know, the body, it takes a little bit of time to, um, to make changes to it um, at every level, especially if you've been eating, you know, a, a sad lifestyle for the majority of your life. And, and I just, I don't know, it's like, I do, I've told you a million times, I don't get involved because I'm just not interested in the back and forth arguing. And a lot of times what I'm finding, and I don't offer any advice or tidbits or my opinion or whatever, because everything turns into an argument on the internet. You can, su you can suggest something to somebody. You can suggest maybe look at something a little bit different way. Everything turns into an argument. I don't have time for that. I'm not interested enough to do that. So I don't take time out of my time that I'm doing stuff to sit around and argue over little minute points. But yeah, you're getting led down that primrose path. You're here, like, get a little bit more into your own head. You have to take responsibility for this, for yourself to thrive also. If you're gonna look for everybody else to do the work and you're always looking for somebody else is telling you, well, this is what we do now and this is how you eat and you're constantly changing, you're being beaten around like a pinball, well, your, your, uh, your body's always going to be going through changes because if you drastically change, um, you know, how you're eating, it's always going to take a little bit of a time for your body to adjust to it, get used to it, and then by the time your body might thrive on it, you're, you're already on to the next thing. Um, so, so give yourself a chance, you know. Whatever, whatever method you're using or however you're doing this lifestyle, give yourself a chance. Um, it's also too, it's about, it's not about, you're not going to come to a, the right version of, of raw vegan, raw for whatever lifestyle. It's not just like going to be this thing where you come to it and like, okay, this is it. You eat this, 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 and this. Or for me anyway, it's largely about filling in the gaps. You're always filling in gaps, always filling in holes, or at least that's what I've been doing all the way down the road. You know, I get started. I'm feeling a little bit better, but then I notice something's not working quite right, and it's like, okay, because you're not doing this. Just for example, it was don't, it was back before I got into the greens. The smoothies are a perfect, kind of a perfect um, example here. You know, I was eating a lot of fruit. I've been eating a lot of fruit since I got into this lifestyle. I was eating a lot of fruit, and then, you know, I'd have some, I'd have vegetables or a, a salad or soup or whatever at night not taking in enough um, greens. I added those greens in there. The greens, that was another I would, uh, another gap, another hole. As I started getting more greens, I could tell a difference. I could tell my body starting to thrive even a little bit more. Um, not a little bit more, the greens were a huge thing. And you know, after now, um, I started back uh, adding a lot of greens or trying to get as much many leafy greens into my diet. Um, back around the first of the year, um, latter part of 2014, um, like I say, I always knew the benefit of greens, but it just really got into my head to start doing that on a regular daily basis. Then I added the seeds. The seeds, you know, I do chia seeds. I'm going to start doing flax seeds as soon as I get back to Costa Rica because I like that better ratio of the omega-3s. But then I start looking at my omega-3 ratio to my omega-6 or my omega-6 to my omega-3s. Another hole, another gap felt in. You see what I'm getting at, though? I, I'm just using that as an example. It's the, but the particulars, you know, I fill in one gap. I feel a little bit better. I move. I just continuously move forward, move forward, adding little bits at a time, not radically changing what I'm doing. I see all. I see some people changing this lifestyle like they change underwear. And I have not made a lot of changes. I've made adjustments as I've gone down my path. Um Sorry, erratic iPad. Um, yep, always be learning. You need to always be learning. Always be um, trying to figure, you know, learn. You can learn in generalities. I like to learn two different ways. I like to learn this way by reading just in general and educating myself on the basics more and more. And I like to educate myself by, like I say, educating myself on what's not working with me, making a tweak and adjusting it. 
I want to end with one last thing and that I've talked about this theme before. Look more to yourself than to outside. Um, I, like I say, I'm going to say this over and over. I think people just, it's comfortable to be in a group. It's comfortable to be around people that are doing things exactly like you. But you always have to take responsibility for yourself. And, you know, there, there's no particulars here. People always ask me for particulars. Like a lot of times I'm just seeing a composite view of everything. But I see a lot of people that are following people that aren't really thriving. And uh, I'm not necessarily talking about big names. People think I'm talking about somebody on YouTube. I could be talking about somebody within your little group that's kind of a quasi leader. They're not thriving all that much. They might be the loudest. They might be, you know, they'll say in the squeaky wheel gets the grease, but have more confidence in yourself. I know I do. And that's why I feel like I'm always moving forward, always moving forward. I may never get there. There is no there. It's all about the, the journey. Anyhow, I uh, hope you guys like this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and hope your week's off to a great start. See you guys. Peace.